Winston, what are you doing? Oh, hi, bud. He thinks he's a dog or a cat sometimes. He loves the dogs. So Winston here has adopted Bama as his puppy. He will groom me. He'll pick through my hair, check my ears. He's always trying to pull my lips and look to see what's happening inside my mouth. Uh... <laughs> Winston finds his way into fitting with everybody. He came to us almost two years ago. This is little Winston, uh, one of the monkeys that we have rescued. He was taken from the wild from his mother and uh, brought into the United States to be sold in the pet trade. And he was not taken care of. He was malnourished. He was missing a lot of his fur. He was scared of humans. I just remember holding him the first time. He was so tiny. And so my heart was broken. I would help him learn how to eat. Hungry little buddy this morning. And just lots of love. Winston, are you gonna go to the bathroom? Huh? It took a good while for him to start to gain the weight and then to just trust us. But once that changed, he wanted to be held all the time. Unfortunately, with primates, once they've been in a domestic situation, they do not successfully reintegrate into the wild, and they've got to stay. Winston, are you trying to get in the shower with me? What are you doing? He loves to, to just cuddle up, to hug. It was obviously my sign that he felt safe and secure. Now he's just a little troublemaker. <laughs> Winston likes to sneak around and get into things. It's like sharing life with a toddler. <laughs> he would be an outside and people would ask to see my baby. What are you doing? I would feel that, that cover back and they're like, oh, wait a minute, that's not a baby. Most of them thought I was a little crazy. And maybe I am a little bit. <laughs> but I wouldn't have it any other way. He's my sidekick. They live such a long time, 40 or 50 years. I tell my kids, one day they can change my diapers and Winston's diapers at the same time. <laughs> it's an absolutely beautiful thing to experience.